healthy. Being, hel it. being healthy is fun. Oh, I'm starting to go now, like at either at 9 a.m. or noon, today's noon, realize that I can't really work out early in the morning or late at night because of family commitments. So I got to work in my biggest, one of my bigger priorities, which is working out or taking care of myself. And I just have to put it in the middle of the day. I work out at Align Health and Fitness right here off 281 and near Thousand Oaks. Mm -hmm. So one of the owners, Donna, is a chiropractor and she does a lot of uh, manual therapy and manipulation on my body. Um, I have a bunch of sessions with her as well. So I'm going for 30 minutes before the set of class and getting worked on because as I'm getting older and I sit a lot, like we're driving and I sit at the office a lot and my hips get real tight and my calves get tight. And the only way for me to keep, um, stay healthy and play golf and do all those things. If I get some, uh, manual manipulation on my body with the chiropractor. So she's amazing and, uh, it's kind of painful but it's totally worth it. It's five days a week to work out and probably get treatment twice a week. But if you can do a lot of self-care. Like if I can take care of myself at home, she teaches me a lot of what to do, stretches and mobility. Then I don't have to come in twice a week. Hey, is it bad if we do this on time? I'm oh. trying to get is it, is it bad? No. Then For your you're the, you, me? You're the doctor. I listen to you. Um, hips and calves. My hips are super tight. Lower back a little bit. Okay. So, so calves I'm, I'm mostly. In, 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 in and outside of your hips. Oh, okay. Yeah. Conditioned all your sheep to say they love it. Oh, Donna, this is. They love what it feels like after. But yeah, that's the thing. It's after. Oh you my goodness. Your stomach. You feel how tight you feel right around here. Yeah. So that's where most of your breathing needs to happen. There you go. So the lack of ability to rotate around your spine makes you have to use all the muscles I'm pressing on down here a whole lot more. Okay. My entire stomach locked up during the toast brace. Oh no. That's how... But you kept going. Seriously? Yeah. Like... Breathe. Being, he to... being healthy is fun. Yes. Embody what you want to feel. I know. You be as relaxed as you want this hip to get. I've been like injured before, elbows and... So the last time I was with Donna was a lot of upper body stuff, but I strained my calf a couple months ago. So that's what I'm, it's the, my lower body right now is just a, a complete yeah. mess. <laughs> there it is. And then, I don't know. Big hug across your chest. And then, and out. And then, and out. Rest your head. It's a lot of pops though. I know, I'm gonna do your feet real quick. You don't feel relaxed at, during, it's afterwards. You go through a lot of pain and discomfort. Mm -hmm. Ow! <laughs> Seriously! You go through a lot of pain and discomfort during, but the purpose is to get your body opened up and relaxed. It's coming for me. <laughs> Somebody called it in. They started yeah. screaming on the table. Yeah. I was abusing you. Yeah. So, double tap jump, looks like that. Oh, I thought it was happy with my feet like Dorothy Wizard of Oz. Like, how am I going to do 50 of those? <laughs> yeah, but you're going to pay attention to how you're using your feet. Okay. Like, you'll actually jump. Yeah. Right? Versus when you do a double under, like, you're way more likely to just keep your feet really, really tight and yeah. just spring off of the ball of your foot really hard. Now do the class. It is like handstand walking. <laughs> double unders and something else. <laughs> and then is, is it tape to tape, it's 25 and back? Yeah. Okay. Do so you remember the last time you had some off? It was last year for sure. Last year? Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's go! Up. It's really good. Um, Julia. The skill work, the handstand walks tough. I just, I'm not good at it. Yeah, just because it fatigues your shoulders. I'm yeah. just tired out real easily. But I'm proud of myself because I did it way better than I thought, to be honest. 
So now I'm um, going to meet with Eileen McMahon, uh, Agent Services Technology. I'm trying to develop better training and curriculum for agents. So we're trying to assess the current agents and maybe in, in the new agents that come in, we're trying to assess their skill level in social media and their desire to use social media to grow their business. Mm -hmm. And what the reason is, is that we want to create really like cutting edge training that is an, an, a reason that people want to go to Keller Williams Heritage. I believe that's the goal, right? I mean, mm -hmm. really we're trying to just add a ton of value to agents. There may be old school agents or there may be agents that don't want to use social media. They never have to. They're old school and they're referral based and they don't need yeah. to use it. <clears throat> the reality is the future of this world is already here and it's social media. So if, find a way to offer resources. So like better resources. And I think that we can hang our hat and say we do have the best training in the in the city, in the state. Mm -hmm. But When it comes to real estate. When it comes to real estate. But do we have the best training when it comes to growing your business through social media? Yeah. One of the best, if not. Mm -hmm. But I think it could be like mm -hmm. so legit and so in-depth. Mm -hmm. And it can cover every platform. Yeah. Because I'm not going to teach a TikTok class because I don't use it. Mm -hmm. So why have That's to... why it's hard because they're like, you're the social media person. And I was like, yeah, but I don't, I don't personally use Correct. all of that myself. So instead of adding... I'm like, it... I'm the command person. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, so that's the thing. You. Why have you cover seven platforms? You can't possibly yeah. be an expert in seven platforms. Mm -hmm. You're like niche or specialist use Facebook or... I mean, I'm older, so I think Facebook first, Instagram second. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. All right, well, Thank you, girl. Me. I appreciate it. This morning is a pretty typical day if I'm not showing homes. Up super early, got a lot of work done administratively, a lot of emails, a lot of searching for homes, all, all kinds of stuff for clients. Uh, it's just such a tough market for buyers and we're looking and looking. Um, we had good news on a home that we got appraised and some good stuff. Uh, had meetings this morning, I met with you and we went over marketing you know, ideas and some strategies and then um, I got a chance to get worked on chiropractic adjustment and uh, then I worked out and then I had a great meeting with Eileen McMahon here trying to help the brokerage with better training and uh, resources um, and then I work the rest of the afternoon and go pick up my daughter tonight and sit pretty full day probably send more emails later tonight and call it a day so uh, every day is different but it's super fun just the market right now is tough.